there's no guest of honor to shake your hand and to give you your certificate. You, get, you have to pick up the certificate yourself. And we cannot sing the national anthem or the school song. We have to listen to it being played to us. So these are all things that COVID have brought on and that just in a small way have changed our prize giving. But nevertheless, we're still having a prize giving. It's not necessarily the ideal way to celebrate your achievements, but it is the best we can do given the situation that we've been handed. So that's a little welcome from me. I'd like you to stand now for the, as they'll play the national anthem for us. Thank you. Today's reading is taken from Proverbs chapter 4, verses 7 to 13. Getting wisdom is the most important thing you can do. Whatever else you get, get insight. Love wisdom, and she will make you great. Embrace her, and she will bring you honor. She will be your crowning glory. Listen to me, my son. Take seriously what I am telling you and you will live a long life. I have taught you wisdom and the right way to live. Nothing will stand in your way if you walk wisely and you will not stumble when you run. Always remember what you have learned. Your education is your life. Guard it well. Can we please bow our heads in prayer? Bless us today, O Lord, as we gather here with our relatives and friends. Grant that we, who receive rewards for our work, may always remember that the talents we have come, that the talents we have come from you, and that from those to whom much is given, much will be expected. May we all strive so that we gain not only the praise of men, but that we may come at last to hear you say, well done, good and faithful servant. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Um, I would just like to add uh, my welcome to that that has been expressed by Mr. van Skalkweg and also to welcome uh, all those people who are watching uh, this um, event on, on live on live stream. Welcome to the prize giving for the 2020 prize winners. 
There can be little doubt that in the 180 year history of Weinberg Boys High School, 2020 will go down as one of the most challenging we've ever faced. In my opinion, the fact that we are celebrating so many of our students' achievements today is nothing short of a miracle. Never before has a school motto of super amoris been more, evidently, more evident than in the months from March to December last year. And I use this opportunity to pay tribute to the student body, the parents, and the wonderful hard-working hard -working staff for jointly ensuring that 2020 was not a total disaster, which it could very well have been. Over and above the challenges posed by the pandemic, uh, we also faced an additional challenge of losing many of our top staff during the year last year. And this had an impact on our ability to deliver the curriculum. Most of those staff left to pursue their careers overseas, and um, there was very little that we could do to convince them to stay on in South Africa. I want to thank the staff that stepped in, took their place. Thank you very much to you for making sure that um, our academic program continued uh, during, during the year last year. I want to pay special tribute to the senior management of the school, the governing body, the COVID-19 team, and our support staff for keeping the ship uh, sailing, so to speak. It was a wonderful effort from all of you, and thank you very much. The ability to be flexible, adaptable, and remain positive and motivated in times of uncertainty became the norm in 2020. Online teaching and online learning rapidly moved from being an exciting option that we might explore one day in the future to a reality. Fortunately, our previously implemented policies of installing Wi-Fi throughout the school, insisting that everybody has their own device, and also going paper light, helped us to adapt to the new normal fairly quickly and relatively easily. Nevertheless, we all learned valuable lessons and new skills uh, during the course of 2020. And this will stand us in good stead into the future, because I think we all realize that um, the current situation and the situation that we exper experienced in 2020 is not necessarily going to go away this year and possibly even next year. Sadly, 2021 has started off very much as we ended off in 2020. But at least this year, we are more prepared and we have equipped our teachers and our students better to cope with the so-called new normal. For those of you who are receiving prizes today, well done. You have succeeded under very diffi difficult circumstances and you have in fact thrived under difficult circumstances. And we take our hats off to you. Congratulations. I wish you all well in your future studies and hope that you will continue to set the standard for all of those who come after you to aspire to. Um, thank you very much, and I do wish you all the very, very best for this year, and congratulations once again. Good morning, boys. I will be reading out the grade eight prize winners from last year. So we're gonna start with the subject prizes. So can I please ask boys when I read out your name that you don't have to come up to the stage, you can just stand where you are. Uh, you'll receive your subject certificate with your tie certificate a, a, a bit later. And then can I please ask that we just hold our applause until I've read out all the names. Okay, so subject certificates, one certificate, Jack Broom, English. So Jack, if you're here, stand, thank you. Daniel Heffron, Creative Arts. Ethan Lee, Technology. Daniel Norman, Life Orientation. Aman Safedin Afrikaans. And Lethle Swat Boy, Easy Causa. Awesome. Nice boys, well done. You guys must sit. Okay, we're now gonna um, go to Academic Awards Silver Tie. So these boys, when I read out your name, you can make your way up, up, up the stage. And then as before, let's hold our applause till everyone's on the stage. Okay, Silver Tie's winners. Joel Adams. Jamie Bach. 
Ryan Barkhausen, Caleb Birch, Peter Bonema, Nicholas Berta, Tayan Brown, Matteo Garonti, Jake Kutzer, Sebastian Leclerc, and Zayan Edwards. Well done, boys. Okay, next group of boys, we have Fayaz Ibrahim, Tariq Ekli, James Ewart Smith, Adam Fakir, Alexander Fernandez, Samuel Flint, Tony George, Aman Khedin, ah, sorry, Amin Khedin, Kiam Hendricks, Damien Hetherington, Luke Honeyman, Samuel Im Imbrilio, Adam Jacobs, Muhammad Fiyad Jacobs, Yu Chan Jing, David Jones, Alexander Kent, Aaron Kleinschmidt, Joshua Lemberg, and Panashi McGuerry. Well done, boys. You can go. You can go. Okay, guys, you can go. Okay, next group of boys, we have Benjamin Matthews, Jaden Mayer, Alexander Mayer, Adam Modak, Hamza Muhammad, Yunus Ni, Muhammad Fiyaz Nuddin, Daniel Norman, Joshua Peterson, Nathan Preston, Jacob Punt, Ziggy Reimer, Thomas Roberts, Well done, boys. Okay, next group. Ross Reed, Lakman Samai, Caleb Schilder, Michael Sharp, Kiela Smits, Liam Story, Lethley Swatboy, and Uzziah. To going. Well done, boys. Okay, we are now moving on to gold ties. 
Matthew Brading, Jack Broom, Levi Brown, Caleb Danes, David Thury. Well done, boys. Okay, last group of gold ties. Daniel Heffron, Liam Kent, Ethan Lee, Ethan Pinn, and Aman Safuddin. Well done, boys. I'm, I'm now going to read the, out the Mendel Captain Awards. These boys are the top three in the grade. So as if I read out your name, please just make your way to the stage. Okay, third in the grade with a gold tie, Tristan van Royen. Second in the grade with a gold tie, subject prizes for geography and natural science, we have Joshua Gavin. And then first in, in the grade, we have Muhammad Fahan Umar with a gold tie, subject prizes for mathematics, history, and economic and management sciences. Well done, boys. I am now going to hand over to Mr. Lopesha. Thank you. Okay, good morning, gents. I'm going to read out the grade nine prizes from 2020. To start off, just subject prizes. If I read your name, just stand up where you are. You will come forward later to receive your. Um, Certificate. Hamza Lunat for technology. Ebenezer Karingera for life orientation. And Sango Yaku for easy causa. Okay, then we move on to the academic awards. Silver ties Abdullah Abrams, Connor Albrecht, Nicholas Bolden, Tristan Baxter Elliott, Ashton Bissett. Danielle Brown, Ben Bruning, Seth Christians, Morgan Koshis, Michael Creswell, Rory Cupido, Matthew Downs, Zuhair Ibrahim, Yusuf Ibrahim, Takir Imandin, Gabriel Firer, Lulibo Fula, Salahuddin Gabir, Isa Hamildin and Stuart George. Well done, gents. <laughs> Continuing with silver ties, Luke Giliomia. Gabriel Hawkins, Thomas Hobden, Heath Horn, Joel Jansen, Jack Johnston, Joshua Jones, Andrew Killick, Connor Kleinans, Gabriel LaRue, Akshay Lala, Ewan Liberty, Zakaria Lunat,
Congrats, Jens. <laughs> Continuing with Silver Ties, Alexander Lorenzen, Connor Lowe, Mikhail Mafakala, Nicola Marich, Alexander Masters Key, Kian Matthews, Ben McGuigan, Habib Musa, Cole Miller, Matthew Myers, Adam Najar, and Keenan Pretorius. Congrats, Jones. <laughs> then our last group of silver ties, Ethan Ramsey, Yusuf Razdin, Abdul Aziz Rainers, Joe Reader, Samuel Robinson, Jared Scrooby, Daniel Speedy, Cade Stamer, Stephen Stander, Kyle Stevens, Connor Thompson, Liam von Lilienfeld, Nicholas van Skalkweg, Reese Whitfield, and Reese Wilson. Congratulations, gents. <laughs> Next, we move on to our gold ties. We have Eli Abru, Benjamin Badiali, Imad Badruddin, Diane Basadin, Luke Bremer, Tristan Butters, and Jihad Chilwan. Congrats, Jens. Our second group of gold tie recipients, Luca Conero, Noah Harrison, Ebenezer Karingera, Hamza Lunat, Michael Morgan, David Morganrood, and Joshua Vincent. Congrats, Jens. Next, we move on to our Mendel Kaplan Awards for the top three prizes in the grade. In third position, Christian Cup with a gold tie and subject prize for history. In second place, Jared Ben with a gold, gold tie and subject prizes for creative arts, EMS, and technology. And in first place, Nas Beats with a gold tie and subject prizes for English, Afrikaans, mathematics, EMS, geography, and natural sciences. Congrats, Jens. I 
I will be handing over to Mr. Moore that will do the grade 10 prizes. Uh, good morning to, my, uh, to the Weinberg boys and to the parents and guardians watching online. This morning, we honor the grade 10 subject prizes, achieving one certificate. You are not with us today, but we would like to honor them. With one certificate, uh, Jesse Abels, Nathan Abriamsa, Ethan Eckert, Abdul Abrams, Sven Bokstrom, Jared Byrne, Carl Carter, Linga Chagona, Carl Kutsia, Zephyr Corbello, Kaim Dolly, Tang Egbrink, Nicholas Fouri, Jordan George, Leslie Harmser, Matthew Herman, Nazim Jacobs, Shuan James, Ross Johnson, Callum Lawson Smith, Christopher Milan, Luke Matthewson, Connor McClure, Joshua Monroe, Sean O'Connor, Giordano Papini, James Robinson, Nicholas Sage, Thomas Salter, Ruben Semple, Ben Smith, Daniel Smith, and Ashwin Varghese. Let's give these gentlemen a round of applause. The following boys have been awarded two certificates and they're not here with us today, but we'd still like to acknowledge them. Josh Barr, James Boerter, Ashraf Coleman, Liam Davids, Daniel Erasmus, Tristan Gerard, James Hart, Abdu Dayan Hartley, Rory Jeppy, Mikhail Manifalt, Ashton McCormick, Marco Palvi, Jared Peregrino, Hashim Peters, Ben Rose, Chris Tenfolden, and Luke Van Sale. Let's give these boys a round of applause. <laughs> the following students have been awarded three certificates and they're welcome to come up onto the stage to receive their certificate. Connor Kluti van Skalkveik, Jason Fora, Reese Hendricks, Danielle Kemp, Declan Lesh, Zachary Pawthon, Caleb Price, Imad Sali, and Muzamil Samai. All right, let's give these gentlemen a round of applause. <laughs> the following boys have been awarded four certificates and they're welcome to come up to stage to collect their certificate. It's Joshua Ka Kamara Buswell, Nadim Davids, and Rushan Talamakis. Well done, gentlemen. Yeah. The following boys have been awarded five certificates. Cameron Boardman-Smith, Jason Cooper, Cameron Johns, Kellen Larkin, and Azar Sali.
Well done, gentlemen. Achieving six certificates, Imran Harun, Fayaz Hanika, and Anthony van Aysen. Well done, James. Achieving seven certificates, Ron Thomas. Well done, Ron. The following boys have won academic awards such as Colours. You do not need to come up onto stage, but we will honour you from where you stand. With Colours, Her Cameron Boardman Smith, Nadim Davids, Fayaz Heineke, Imran Harun, Cameron Johns, Kellen Larkin, Azar Sali, Ron Thomas, and Anthony van Aysen. Let's give these gentlemen a round of applause. <laughs> we move on to the Edward Wise Awards for the top three in the grade. These gentlemen may come up to stage and collect their award. Third in grade 10, with subject prizes for physical sciences and accounting, subject distinctions in physical sciences, EGD, accounting, mathematics, Afrikaans, and English with colors goes to Fahan Bray. Second in grade 10, subject prizes for physical sciences and EGD and mathematics, subject distinctions in physical sciences, IT, EGD, mathematics, English, and Afrikaans with colors in absentia is Thomas van Hasten. Moving on to first in grade 10, subject to prizes for economics and life orientation and Afrikaans, uh, the Davids Prize for English, subject uh, distinctions in life sciences, IT, economics, mathematics, Afrikaans, and English with colors goes to Tanvir Chikte. Well done, boys. I'd like to congratulate all grade 10 of 2020 subject prize winners for their awards this morning. And I'll hand over to Mr. Porchitze for the grade 11 of 2020 awards. Good morning to those of you present and to those of you joining us online. Um, I will be reading out the awards for the grade 11s of 2020, which are now our matrix uh, for 2021. Um, in the reading of the certificates, um, many of you won't be present, but if you are present, please come up to the stage in the reading of the certificates. So one certificate, Abdul Hakim Abrams, Josh Byrne, Jack Bietke, Emichle Benya, Josh Brown, Matthew Brainers, Ryan Clancy, Connor Davids, Caleb de Klerk, Riaz Dolly, 
Muaz Ibrahim, Leo Flisberg, Zakir Fankat, Aditya Gorpade, Jordan Heger, Ross Jeppi, Nur Johnston, Matthew Langefeld, Aidan Leek, Sebastian Lorenzen, Teague Lawrence, Ramiz Manuel, Ahmad Najjar, Jack Robinson, Luke Rousseau, Shahid Rustin, Matthew Sampson, Matthew Shaw, Daniel Sewell, Reese Stanford, Keenan Tyson, Tyler Williams, and Liam Zamanja. Well done to these boys. <laughs> Two certificates, Troy Aris, Aidan Bailey, Ben Curry, Leo DeToy, Said Ibrahim, David Hansen, Joe Hawthorne, Joshua Jansen, Moise Khan, Christopher Kleinans, Cameron McDonald, John Bruce Node, Naeem Parker, and Ethan Walton. Well done. Three certificates, Dante Benting, Alexander Clark, Dean Cronier, Mikhail Fatah, Amir Jaffer, Adam Kiefer Walker, Hyun Wu Lee, Luke Lawrence, Christian Lowe, Liam Piffer, Shay Riley, and James Vesey. Well done to these boys. Four certificates, Shukri Abrams, Josh Koff, Justin Sangster, and Caleb Foscale. Well done, gentlemen. Five certificates, Justin Chesterton, Ethan Faraday, Matthew Leach, Dylan Rudolph, Mikhail Rylands, and Dion Vermeulen.
Well done, gentlemen. With six certificates, Julian Boo, Ryan de Villiers, Thomas Hugo, and Berganza Pretorius. Well done, gentlemen. With seven certificates, Hayden Engel and Asad Sali. Well done, gentlemen. And with eight certificates, Kieran Adams. Well done, Kieran. Okay, gentlemen, in the reading of the colors and blues, please can I ask you to just stand um, after the reading of the colors. We will give applause to all who are standing for the Academic Colors Awards. So Shukri Abrams, Aidan Bailey, Justin Chesterton, Alexander Clark, Mikael Fatah, Thomas Hugo, Ami Jaffer, Adam Kiefer Walker, Josh Koff, Hyun Wu Lee, Luke Lawrence, Christian Lowe, Liam Peffer, Shay Riley, Justin Sangster, Dian Vermeulen, and Caleb Forscale. Well done to you guys. For Blues, Academic Blues, Kieran Adams, Julian Bull. Ryan de Villiers, Hayden Engel, Ethan Faraday, Matthew Leach, Braganza Pretorius, Dylan Rudolph, Mikael Rylands, and Asad Sali. Well done, gentlemen. Next, I'm going to read out the Edward Wise Awards for the top three in the grade. Uh, in third place in grade 11, 2020, Cole Abrams, subject prize for life orientation and physical sciences and AP mathematics, subject distinction in English, Afrikaans, mathematics, accounting, economics, and physical sciences and blues. Second in the grade was Timothy Fortune, subject prize for Afrikaans, subject distinction in English, Afrikaans, AP Mathematics, Mathematics, EGD, Geography, Life Sciences, and Physical Sciences with honors. And first in the grade, in 2020 was Theo Cotil, subject prizes for mathematics, life orientation and economics, subject distinction in AP English, English, Afrikaans, AP mathematics, mathematics, economics, history, life sciences and physical sciences with honors. Well done to these guys.
I want to say thank you to the great 11s for your hard work in 2020. Um, you've set yourself up for a good final year in 2021. I'm now handing over to Mr. Ingenbrach for the special prizes. Good morning, everybody, present and online. It's my privilege to announce the recipients of the special awards and bursaries for 2020. All of these awards have a rich history, um, and the people and families that have made these awards possible over the years are all part of the Weinberg Tapestry forever. First of all, the Rayner Greenwall Prize, awarded for the most original history project of the year, is awarded to Thomas Hugo. Dr. Marcus Melk had the following to say, the grade 11 history research assignment requires students to identify and analyze two separate historical events in order to prove the argument that history does indeed repeat itself. While facing stiff competition from other well-researched assignments that investigated topics such as comparisons of the Syrian and Congolese civil wars and the Tiananmen Square and Hong Kong protests involving China, the winner of this year's award distinguished himself with an excellent analysis of gender discrimination as it relates to the feminist movement that emerged over the 20th and 21st centuries. Wielding a fluid writing style and the ability both to evaluate and in integrate his sources into a unified argument, the winner of this year's prize demonstrated commendable skills in communicating a subject that remains relevant throughout the world today. Well done, Thomas. While most of these awards have a citation, the Duke of Edinburgh Award needs no explaining. So the Duke of Edinburgh's International Silver Award is awarded to Christopher Clainunz. While Christopher is up here, it's also my pleasure to announce that the Pippa Richardson Award, awarded for service to the school community, is also awarded to Christopher Clainans. Mr. Inglis had the following to say, Chris is involved in a plethora of groups, activities at Weinberg. He is the INTAC president, a member of the Social Cohesion Committee, the McNaughton Corps Committee, and the Service Corps Committee, on which he has served since his grade eight year. In addition, he heads up the Blood Drive peer promoters and helps run the soup kitchen in collaboration with the girls' school. He fulfilled the role of student manager for tennis and is a member of the swimming team. He's head of first aid and is himself a level three first aider. He accepted the responsibility of directing house plays and has co-directed the Shakespeare production. Over and above, he is co-initiator and main driver of the annual Swimathon to raise funds for an awareness of mental health amongst teenagers. I think this provides fitting justification for why Chris is deserving of this award. And that's from Mr. Inglis. Well done, Christopher. The Donald Simons Award is awarded to the grade 10 pupil who has shown the most improvement over his academic performances in previous years. And this is awarded to Anthony van Aysen. <coughs> Mr. Moore had the following to say, Anthony increased by 8%. Only a handful of students increased their overall average at the end of last year. So to improve by this amount during a pandemic is an incredible feat. He placed 56th out of 204, which is 72% in grade nine, but then placed 11, 11th out of 200, which is 80% in grade 10. That's an excellent performance, well done. <laughs> the Stan Jones Prize is awarded to the grade 11 pupil who has shown the most improvement over his performances in previous years at school activities and is awarded this year to Matthew Sampson. Mr. Portgetter had the following to say, Matthew improved his position in the grade by 48 places, 
as well as improving his average by just under 17% between grade 10 and 11. This makes him very deserving of this award, and I agree. Very well done, Matthew. The Alf Morris Award is awarded to a grade 11 pupil who is an all-rounder. And for 2020, that is awarded to Dylan Sharp. Mr. Portgitter wrote the citation. Dylan Sharp is the son of an old boy. He's involved in rugby and cricket. He's diligent in his academic word, work and is well-disciplined. He's respectful, kind, and well-mannered can always be counted on and is always involved in house activities. He's a true Weinberg all-rounder. Well done, Dylan. <laughs> the Fine Family Bursary is awarded to Isaiah Lowe. This was said about Isaiah. Isaiah joined Weinberg Boys High School in the middle of his grade nine year. He applied to attend Weinberg as an incredibly promising student, sportsman, and all-rounder. At the time, he was enrolled at Macassar High School, where he was thriving both academically and sporting-wise, but felt that he was not in an environment that could offer him the opportunities that Weinberg could. Since joining the Weinberg family, he has only impressed and continues to develop as an all-rounder. He is a dedicated, motivated, and passionate boy who's driven to take full advantage of his time at Weinberg. Isaiah has aspirations of studying at UCT and playing rugby after school. He understands what is required to make this a reality and is hard at work in that regard. In addition, Isaiah is very well liked by his peers, the younger boys whom he interacts with in the class, on the sports field, and in his house. He is highly regarded by his teachers, his tutor, and his house head, and plays a positive role in all his involvements at school. That's a wonderful citation. Well done, Azai. <laughs> the Anthony Morris Prize awarded to the great eight pupil who has shown the most loyalty to the school through his participation in school activities is awarded to Benjamin Hansen. Mr. Panamava had this to say. Benny played for the A-team in three different sports last year, and most people he came into contact with will know him well and will tell you how well-mannered and how lovely he is. Now, that's speaking from the heart. And uh, you can be proud to have a member of staff say that about you. Benny, well done. The David Levitt Memorial Trophy, awarded to the grade 10 pupil, who was an inspiration to all of his fellow students, is awarded to Zachary Porfin. Mr. Van Winkel said the following. Zach was selected to represent our first team polo side as a grade 10 learner and the under 16A rugby side, which he co-captained. He played the clarinet up until 2020. Zach is heavily involved in Glebe and participates across all spheres. He's a shining example of the Weinberg way. He's punctual, polite, he has integrity, which is significant because he also has influence, which he uses to pull his peers in a positive direction. This has been confirmed by his teammates, school peers, coaches, tutor, and house head. Sounds like you have great things lying ahead of you, Zach. Well done. The Neil and Cecil Jowell Achiever Award, awarded for demonstrating Weinberg values, is awarded to Tola Karlsa. Mr. Rudd wrote the citation. Tola Karlsa embodies what it means to be a Weinberg man. 
He started his journey with the school in grade eight when he left home and came into a totally different environment of Weinberg and Littlewood Hostel. Littlewood Hostel. Paula persevered with dogged determination to overcome the challenges of a new environment and a new medium of instruction in class. All the while, he carried himself with a quiet dignity that set him apart from his peers. He is respectful to all he comes across. He has a kind demeanor. He's a thorough gentleman and is well liked with everyone he interacts with. He has excelled in hockey and has represented the school in numerous A teams throughout his school career. Today, we celebrate Klola for his achievements at Weinberg and for the example he sets to his fellow peers. That is excellent. Well done, bud. That concludes the special awards and bursaries. Thank you to the, to the house heads and, um, th sorry, not the house heads, the grade heads, and also to Mr. Engelbrecht. And once again, congratulations to all those people who um, received prizes or awards uh, today. Um, sometimes, occasionally, uh, we also make awards uh, to people who are not students at the school. And this is the scroll of honor. And if you come into the front foyer of the school, you will notice as you walk in on the right-hand side, there's a scroll of honor. And um, today, uh, I want to make an award for uh, to, uh, an addition to that scroll of honor. The first two scrolls, recognizing persons who delivered outstanding service to Weinberg Boys High, were awarded to Mrs. Arnold Katz and Ginger Towney Don Johnson in 1986. Until today, a total of 37 such awards have been made. Interestingly enough, 32 of those were to men and five to women. Today, it is my privilege to honor the 38th member of this select group of people, Mr. Tapey Marley. Unfortunately, this award is also being made in absentia because Mr. Marley could not be with us today. He, he wanted to be here, but unfortunately, pressures of work um, uh, drew him off elsewhere. Mr. Marley joined the Weinberg family in 2015 when his son, Danielle, enrolled as a student at the school for his grade eight year. It was not long before he was commandeered onto the governing body where his knowledge of finances was immediately put to, to use. Mr. Marley went on to serve two terms over a period of five years on the governing body, the last three as chairman. Once Danielle left the school at the end of 2019, Mr. Marley continued to serve on the governing body as a co-opted member and has remained very active uh, on this body where his institutional knowledge and deep understanding of governance and fiduciary uh, matters were called on regularly. In his tenure in the governing body, the school has had to deal with many issues, a fire, a drought, and the challenges we faced here at school during the Fees Must Fall campaign, called for a cool head and clarity of mind. It was my privilege to, walk, to work alongside Mr. Marley as we successfully negotiated these and many other obstacles. The engineering and design faculty, now nearing completion, was another major development that took place whilst Mr. Marley was chairman of the governing body. Here we were involved in tricky negotiations with the Western Cape Education Department and faced with a highly enthusiastic steering committee who had stars in their eyes and wanted to spend millions of rands. Mr. Marley served on this committee with distinction, always being a voice of caution and reason and ensuring that sound governance principles were always maintained. His major concern has always been the financial sustainability of the school, and the current healthy state of the school finances is in no small, small measure uh, uh, due to the systems introduced while he was at the helm. Mr. Marley, Weinberg owes you a huge debt of gratitude, and although you're not here, I would like to ask you please to accept the scroll and this is the scroll over here for everybody to see. And I'd like you to accept the scroll on behalf of the entire Weinberg family and as a token of our appreciation. And your name will be put up on that board in the very near future. Thank you for your contribution, Mr. Marley. And uh, I'd like everybody here to please uh, give him a round of applause. Thank you.
morning, everyone. Even in absentia, on behalf of my Wymo brothers, I'd like to extend my gratitude to Mr. Marley for all his hard work, dedication, and sacrifice he has given to Wymo during his tenure here. The school is a much better place because of it. To the prize winners, I would like to extend my congratulations to, for your achievements. Your hard work has been rewarded. I hope this inspires you to aim higher and push yourself further this year. To the parents, thank you for your constant support you give us. I know many of you are watching online, but I hope by next year's prize giving, you'll be able to join us in person. Jane, to ask you as the stage party leaves, you stand up and refrain from singing the school song. Right, thank you, gentlemen. You just remain standing. I won't be long. The boys who came in the top three in each grade and those who are special prize winners, the ones that Mr. Engelbrecht read out, we'd like you please to return to the foyer just outside by the freeze at break today. We will take photographs of you. Please make sure that your masks are going to be off. Therefore, you must make sure that you are neat, clean shaven.